Sa iba pa top story, tapatan ang lawak ng coverage ng dalawang malalaking telco. Ito ang target ng Ms. Latel sa kanyang pagharap sa Senate hearing kanina. Nais din ang nanalong bidder na makapag-deliver sila ng internet speed na aabot sa 27 Mbps. Si Mean Corvera sa detalye. Handa ang Miss Latel Consortium na tapatan ang lawak ng coverage ng Smart at Globe sa susunod na tatlong taon. Sa pagdirig ng Senate Committee on Public Services, sinabi ng Miss Latel na sisimulan nila ang paglalagay na hanggang isang libong mga cell sites sa loob ng labindalawang buwan. Target nilang matapos ang 27% nito sa unang taon pero maaring tumaas pa raw ito hanggang sa 84% sa loob ng limang taong operasyon sa Pilipinas. Nangahulugan rin ito na makapag-deliver na sila ng internet speed na abot sa 27 Mbps. The short answer to that is we have no choice. We have to comply with our commitments. These are, we've submitted them to the NTC and we are ready to live by them because if we don't, then we will, we will for, for, uh, forfeit 25 billion pesos. No, and all this hard work that we've gone through will be for nothing if, um, uh, if we don't meet our commitments. So that's bad for us, but I think it's worse for the Filipino people because we want to be a positive force uh, in the telecoms industry. We want to be able to bring a new technology, uh, better service, and that's why um, we have to live up uh, uh, to our commitments. Nauna nang tiniyak ng Department of Information and Communications Technology o DICT na maaring ma-profit ang 24 billion performance bond ng kumpanya kapag nabigo na maibigay ang kanilang commitment. Sa kasalukuyan kasi mga telco operators sa bansa, umaabot pa lang sa 70% ang sakop ng kanilang operations ngayong dalawampung taon na silang nag-ooperate sa Pilipinas. Nanindigan rin ang Ms. Latean na ang kanilang kumpanya hindi pag-aari ng mga Chino. Wala raw kinalaman ang pagkipagkaibigan ng Pangulo sa China sa pagkakapili sa kanila bilang ikatlong telco provider. We want to assure uh, the public that the company that we are setting up is a Filipino company. That's number one. Number two, in fact, we are already uh, setting meetings with the office of the general, general counsel of the SEC because we want to go through the proper process. We will submit our binding bidding agreement, which is the agreement that uh, that regulates no, the equity share of the parties. And we will also submit all the papers that we need for the increase in authorized capital stock of Ms. Latel. And we will make it a point that we will comply with all the legal and constitutional requirements of having a Filipino telecommunications company. Tiniyak naman ng gobyerno na walang dapat ikabahala ang publiko sa pagpasok ng Ms. Latel. May mga inilatag raw na safeguards ang pamahalaan para protektahan ng cyberspace at labanan ang umanoy paghak ng kumpanya sa ilang internet ng bansa. Nagsagawa na rin anya sila ng cybersecurity sa Ms. Latel kasama na ang pag-alam sa background ng kumpanya batay na rin sa itinatakda ng security provisions ng saligang batas. That's why we have that's why we have the National Cyber Security Interagency Committee co-chaired by DICT and me. Sufficient na yun sir. I mean do we have As I said, as I said, there is no impenetrable barrier. So mayroong safeguard in place. Mayroon tayong mga safeguards. Pero sabi ni Senador Grispo, kailangan maging malinaw pa rin ang isyu ng national security dahil sa foreign partner ng Ms. Latel. Hindi ay niya dapat maikompromiso ang seguridad ng bansa, lalo ng impormasyon ng mga Pilipino. We always have to be cautious if, uh, with whoever composes ownership of our Uh, public utilities, di ba? Uh, is it China more? I mean, there's there's no denying, of course, there are questions raised about their interests in our country. So, we, we also have to protect ourselves. Para sa Eagle News, may Ann Corbera, AM1 with 25.